Welcome back for another weekly update on my log house restoration. So one of the projects that I have to do here is to clean up the bricks that came from that chimney over there on the end of the house. Uh, it got knocked down many years ago by a tree that fell over. And so I'm trying to get all the bricks that have been knocked over so far out of the way so that I am able to get to the house to be able to take it down. When I was picking up the bricks over here before, I was trying to mainly just get the ones that were still whole. Uh, that way I could just stack them all up and I didn't have to mess with any of the broken ones. But I've gotten the majority of the ones that are still whole uh, <clears throat> moved out of here uh, from the last time I was here. Now I'm down to just a bunch of these broken up ones. So I'm going to try getting these out of here, uh, moved over there, pile them beside the stacked up ones. And that way I can start getting whole ones out of here again and repeat the process. I've got most of the bricks that are broken here in the back of the truck. Uh, got those sorted out. And then I piled all the ones that are still whole over here near the base of the chimney. And I'll come back and get these next. Uh, I gotta say, I've been using this little spading fork right here. And that has worked excellently for digging the bricks out. Because you can dig down in there and then the dirt kind of sifts through the tines of the fork and it leaves the bricks right on top there. It's, it's worked quite well. And now to pick up the good bricks. So you may have noticed that uh, in that time lapse there that I was holding a few bricks off to the side. And the reason for that is because they were actually a more modern brick. Uh, they're, they're smooth on the sides and they've got the holes in the middle versus all these other ones which do not have those holes. And they have this little ridge around the outside of it which I believe is called the frog. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. And what this was for was to give the bricks just a little bit more height on them, that extra quarter inch, half inch. Because over the course of a big project like a chimney over there where they came from, uh, that, that extra quarter inch, half inch would actually add a good bit of height to the overall height of the structure. And that would reduce the number of bricks that the mason had to use to build whatever it was he was working on. So I've gotten the vast majority of the bricks picked up over here. I'm sure there's still a few hiding somewheres down in the ground here or over in the taller grass, but I'm not too concerned about uh, those right now. I'll go through this area with a more fine tooth comb later on because the rest of this chimney right here still has to come down at some point uh, during the uh, reconstruction of the house. So there'll be more bricks down here on the ground again at some point so i'm not too concerned about the ones that are left okay today is friday and i've got two things that i want to accomplish today uh the first one is 
to get this old checkout counter over here uh, off from the porch and moved up to the barn. However, before I can do that, I need to get the trailer backed around over to here. And that's going to be a interesting challenge in itself. Uh, it's it, it's doable, but it's it's kind of tight moving through here. So if, first I got to do that. Then after that I got to drag that thing all the way over here and get it loaded up. The second thing I want to get done today is get these two uh, and that right there. These two refrigerators loaded up into the trailer and then take those over to uh, the dump, put those in the, the metals bin over there, get rid of those. Man, that thing was heavier than I thought it was. Now to load up the two fridges. For this other one, I'm gonna try uh, opening it up first. Uh, on here, they've actually padlocked the top of it. Eh, can't really see it. They padlocked it there. And the handle's broken off. And it looks like it might have been sealed or something around the refrigerator. Uh, it's kind of suspicious looking. Maybe there's a body in it or something. Ooh, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Nope, it's empty. It's actually pretty clean in there too. Nothing's been able to get in there for the last who knows how many years. Just that easy. Okay, I've got the tailgate back on the trailer and I am ready to roll out. Uh, I've got some other things that I want to work on tomorrow, so I won't be getting back out here on Saturday. Uh, so that's going to be it for this week's video on the house. Um, I really have no idea what or if I'm going to be doing anything on it next week. Uh, if I don't do anything on the house, I'll have a video on something else. I've got a couple other little projects that uh, I've been working on. So if I don't have a, a house video up, I'll put one of those up instead. So I guess we'll both find out uh, next weekend what I'm going to put up. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video.